Thank you, Sambal Su. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm Kachang Kevin, and this is the Daily Nugget Show. Today is the feast of St. Alphonsus Mary Liguori. We will talk more about this doctor of the church a little later, but first, our Bible reflection for today, taken from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 8 to 9. The one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose, and they will each be rewarded according to their own labor. For we are co-workers in God's service. You are God's field, God's building. St. Paul reminds us that we all play a role in God's plan of salvation. And the body of Christ, whether here or in heaven, pray for one another, as we are co-workers in God's service. St. Alphonsus Mary Liguori was a bishop and a doctor of the church. However, many Protestants who have read the work of St. Alphonsus have misunderstood the relation between Catholics and Mother Mary. Here, I would like to play an audio from EWTN's Call to Communion radio show with Dr. David Anders explaining the devotional language we Catholics use in our prayers. Keep in mind, a lot of the devotional language uh, that we use about the Blessed Virgin Mary in the Western Catholic tradition comes to us from a, from the Middle Ages, basically from a, from a court culture, from from a uh, uh, the culture of aristocracy and feudalism, and you can imagine a situation where you have a supplicant who has approached the court and he needs some boon from the king, but his only access to the king or his preferred mode of access to the king may be from you know the queen mother or from uh, or from the queen married to the king. Uh, he has a friend at court, and he might go, and you could just, just picture this in your mind. You know, this fellow who goes and throws himself at the feet of the queen and says, please, look, i got to have your help. All right. Well, how? Well, the implication is obvious. I need your intercession with the king. Yeah. All right. And that's a perfectly appropriate way of speaking. All right. In a lot of our languages, I mean, our whole use of the word pray in English comes, the, the, the old Latin root means basically to entreat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, and t today in modern English, pray has taken on an almost uniquely religious connotation. It's not the case in the other Romance languages. I mean, in French, they still say, je vous prie, which means please. It's an idiom. Yeah. It basically means, you know, I pray thee. And you find that in older, you know, say, Elizabethan English or or even in the language of the court. You know, I pray the court. Or, right, right, right. You know, I pray for relief, that kind of language. Yeah. And that's the that's the sense in which the word is used. That's that's how we understand it theologically. And a lot of the devotional language comes out of that kind of that kind of tradition. You can watch the full video of the recent episode of Call to Communion on EWTN's YouTube channel. And we'll also have it posted on our Facebook page. St. Alphonsus was born into a noble family on the outskirts of Naples in southern Italy in 1696. He initially pursued a successful career as a lawyer, but he gave it up to enter the oratory of St. Philip Neri in 1723. He was ordained to the priesthood three years later. In 1732, St. Alphonsus founded the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer or Redemptorists as they are also known. He died in 1787 at the age of 90. His canonization followed in 1839, courtesy of Pope Gregory XVI. Pope Pius IX proclaimed him a doctor of the church in 1871. Let's end with the prayer of St. Alphonsus de Gori to our Mother Mary. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Holy Mary, pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Sweet Heart of Mary, be my salvation. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. I'm Kachang Kevin. Subscribe to the Daily Nugget Show at redeemedforworship.com. Also, connect with us on Facebook. This Daily Nugget Show is brought to you by Redeemed for Worship. Redeemed for Worship using Powtoon.